Okay, we should be live again. This should be working now. This is taking over an hour for us to get it going, but anyway. It's it's okay. Everything's fine. It's still not working in the thing. That's Why fine. Not? It is what it is. We'll yeah. I'll sort it out like during the week and then when and we then next time. It, yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks, Katie. Yes, thank you so much. Anthology for us. <laughs> yeah, I don't know because, like, I'll. Is there a way? I want to know if there is a way that I can show you guys what I can see because on my like laptop it looks perfect, but for whatever reason it's not working appropriately mm. part of me is like should we just how many people can i add to this because like, we could just add everybody and everybody can be a host <laughs> that could be fun um, that would be interesting let's see if there's like a a max how many I'm gonna Google it, hang on. Up to 500 people, let's go, guys. Are you, you serious? Join the stream? I mean, like, Celestia and I will be like hosting, but like, you guys can join and we can all see each other's faces. Or you can turn your camera off too if you don't want. If you don't want. Um, that see. would be really cool. That would be awesome. I'm going to do it. I'm going to put the, okay, I'm going to put the link in the chat if I can remember how to do that properly. Where's the invite button? Add people. Can I send, that's not the right button. <laughs> Katie. I'm trying to work it out. It's fine. Okay. If we go, this is our. No. Okay. Hang on. Give me a second. I'm fumbling through, but it's going to work, guys. It's going to work. I'm going to join. I'm going to let you guys join if you want to join. And this is going to be like no other stream you've ever experienced. <laughs> Let's. I go. This. this. I'm trying to work out how to do this without breaking gonna be the whole internet. Shush. Shush my voice in the back. <laughs> okay. This is the link to the meeting. If it asks you for a code, the code is like the end of that link, like the HSP thing. I'll I'll copy the code into man I can gonna join stop the code if you like go to it and it should just let you join and I'll like accept you guys. And I want to I'll pin me and you to the screen and so then when everyone's joined, hopefully that works. I also still haven't worked out how to assign a co-host. <laughs> it says that I can. But I maybe I need more than two people in in it. Oh, that would make sense. But yeah, we'll see. One, two, three. Man. I mean currently it's just us and Katie and I'm fine with that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> well it says there's four of us. Oh, okay. 
Mine says Show yourself. Yourself. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine either way. How do I? The only thing I don't like about using it this way is like we can't see the chat live without opening it separately. Yeah, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just like not the best it could be. Google needs to update it. Yes. Welcome. Welcome, everybody. We're going to break the internet by having a mass. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. <laughs> Hi, Carmen. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Hey, we made this work. I, yeah, it's this work. <laughs> it's different. It's not the it's not the norm. But we're just gonna not have the a traditional party. way, but it'll work. Yes. <laughs> yeah, at least now we can see everybody. Like, and no one is. It's not gonna annoy people. It's just like if people try and rewatch this back, they'll be like, "What the heck?" <laughs> Which is fine. It's fine. Cool. Hey, where are you? She's probably just trying to go start a laptop, I reckon. Oh, yeah, true. Also, um, should we? We're all waiting. This is my daughter. Little cutie. She's so cute. Her name's Willow. Hi. She's a year and a half old. What are you saying? <laughs> she can say real words too, but apparently not right now. Look. Oh my goodness, your dog. <laughs> cute. Oh, cute. See, this is way better now. He's a mess, cute. but. I love him. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, Katie had to download the app. That's why she's taking. Buddy, where are you going? Cool. Go. This is fun. I mean, even if we don't mm. end up reading, this is fun. We can just <laughs> this is fun. Right? know each other instead. Yes. Maybe I should rename it. Rename the stream to just <laughs> let's have a big, <laughs> a big YouTube party. Yes. Yeah, you might you might start a trend with this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, I didn't even know that we could do this and just invite anybody in the comments to join. So this is actually really cool. Yeah, I'm down. I mean, why not? Yeah, me too. I mean, this is something like we could definitely like do again in the future. Like there's so many, I don't know, so many ideas we could use this with. Yeah. And we can like yeah. deliberately do it. It's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. Find more tension. Like everybody, like let everybody know in advance. Like, yeah, put on your comfy PJs or something. Even though for me, it's obviously <laughs> like middle of the day. <laughs> but, oh, I'm yeah. in my pajamas. It always takes a minute for them for you guys to load in. But... There's Katie. Hey, Katie. Hey. So good. I'm, I'm she said, vibing with this. It's great. <laughs> Katie said she had to download the app. Oh, did she? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The the Google. Lay down. Come Google on. chats or meets or whatever. I can't believe they don't. Like, why did they change it from Hangouts? Why Girl, didn't they I don't know. I was, it? like, so annoyed because I've been using Google Hangouts, like, for years. Yeah. And then they just, like, forced me to update it. And I'm just like, what is the point of this? Yeah, like, like no one uses it now. Like my mom literally used to only did it to me if I was talking to her on Google. <laughs> yeah. so now she never talks to me. <laughs> it literally didn't improve any anything. So I'm not sure what the point of it was. Yeah. Hey. Awesome. We're having a party, guys. Katie. If Yay. anyone else wants to join, join because I can see there's like at least three other people in the chats. Yes. Let us know if you want to join because you can. It's free. You Everyone guys. is welcome. <laughs> Everyone except for me. You had to pay for twice. <laughs> I'll um. Good I'll that later. I'll just like cancel it on my other account. 
I can't believe I didn't even think about that. Like my brain wasn't even like, no. oh yeah, your YouTube channel's not on that email. Yeah, I mean, in the moment you were just trying to like get it done. So you just, yeah, I mean, something I would have done. <laughs> Hello, Misty. Welcome. I really don't understand. Oh, hi, Misty. So great to have you. If you want to join, come join. Because <laughs> we can see it. So if you guys... For Carmen and Katie, because you get, don't know, I already walked Celestia through this. If you click the, like, three little buttons that are, like, stacked on top of each other, the three little dots, you can hit change layout and click on tiled and then just, like, close it, and it will, like, rearrange us so you can see all of us at the same time instead of, like... Yeah, I can see everybody on my screen. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> the default is, like, not very good. <laughs> You can't see everybody. Yeah, the tiled is a lot better. I like it. So, do we want to read, guys, or do you want to just chat? Do you want to just talk about stuff? We can just get to know each other if you would prefer. I'm good with literally anything. I mean, Carmen, I've I've never met you before, so hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Do you have a channel, Carmen, or are you just like a viewer? Yeah, I do. Um, you do? It's, it kind of picked up again this like late summer and fall, but yeah, I have one. <laughs> Put it in the chat. Put yes. it in the comments. I'm subscribed. Same with you, Katie, but we already know because you're famous, <laughs> Katie. Yeah. Well, <laughs> famous. I'm famous. <laughs> Bless you and Katie are like the famous mm -hmm. A-list celebrities. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you <Viewers. laughs> Not hardly. <laughs> If you have like more than 800 subscribers, you're a <laughs> in the Christian you're book so YouTube community. Right. <laughs> you're hilarious. No, but I would love to um subscribe to your channel, Carmen. So definitely yeah, me uh, too. Yeah. in the comments. Okay, um, of like the actual um YouTube. On the YouTube. Put it okay, in the Google go back. chat because oh, like, yeah, no one yeah. else can see that but us. YouTube okay. comment. I worked that out pretty fast. Like in the live chat on YouTube if you open yeah. that back up again. Okay, I'm having a hard time finding it again. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Hannah. Hello, Hannah. If you want to join, there's a link above in the chat that will let you join the Google Meet. It's free. You just need a Google account, which... I, is there anyone... Is there anyone left on the earth that doesn't have a Gmail account? I mean, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I've had one since I was like 12. So, I mean, obviously, there's like, um, really like specific niche groups. Like, obviously, the Amish because they don't have the internet and like different <laughs> things like that. But like, <laughs> for like the mainstream, right? Are there people out there that still refuse Google, or is everyone just accepted it? Because like, isn't everything through Google now, except for? I mean, Facebook isn't, but almost. I feel like everything else is, though. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Also, hello, Hannah. I welcome. Can't... Thank you for coming. I can't and welcome to everyone how. else who's joined. We're having fun. We're just talking at the moment. We haven't decided if we will read or not because we. <laughs> this didn't go to plan. No. Nope. And it might it, be better. And we're just turning into a big party where everyone's just talking instead, which is a little bit of fun. Yes. I'm gonna like, are you guys okay if I like take a photo of us, my screen and put it on the, on my Instagram so I can be like, yeah, I'm going my makeup. Sure. <laughs> yeah. What, Katie, what are you talking about? You look beautiful. Yeah, you look great. Fresh, freshly yeah. scrubbed. <laughs> you look so good. Everybody looks good, actually. I'm kind of impressed considering this. Yeah, whole literally, whole <laughs> literally everybody looks good, so. What Just time let, is let it for you guys? That's a question we should ask. Ooh, because yes. it runs from different parts of the world. So it's what's, 7 18 what's here in Colorado. Nice. What about you, Katie? 9 18 in New York. Yep. 9 18? Not yet. 9 18 in Georgia. Friday. <laughs> nice. Oh, you're from Georgia? 
eleven yes, eighteen a.m. That's, that's my home state. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Really? Wait. So, and you're in Colorado now? Yeah. Oh, okay. I've been, li did... been living here for the last three years. Oh, okay. Yeah. How do you like it? I love it. <laughs> I've yeah. never been. To I love Colorado. the mountains. Oh yeah, it's beautiful yeah. over there. From the pictures I've seen, never seen it in person. But... Yeah. <laughs> The pictures don't do justice though. Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live 45 minutes in Colorado Springs. I really Sam, want to. It's like 11 18 for you. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> like almost a whole day ahead of you guys. Yeah. That's so weird to me when I'm like, when I think about it sometimes, I'll look at the time and be like, oh. Sam's already living tomorrow. Yep. I'm in the future. Yep. I am a science fiction novel. <laughs> hey, it makes sense why you like sci-fi so much. Wow. Yep. yep. <laughs> Missy said that it's 918 mm -hmm. in Indiana. So that's pretty nice. cool. That's awesome. 919 now. <laughs> <laughs> I... I don't know what it would even be like to live in America. Like, I can't even, my brain can't handle it. It's like right now for you guys, it's snowing, right? Well, for like most of you, I feel like it would be snowing. Not in Georgia. Not in and Georgia, like, which is shocking. I can't even like fathom that because I've never seen snow. And like, I really want to. And I like see it on the TV, but you know how like, you can see something, but it doesn't click in your brain that that's a real thing. Yeah. That's what snow is like to me. Like, I can't imagine what it feels like. I can't imagine what it sounds like. What if I'm just like, oh, yes, yeah, snow. Like, that's just sitting on the TV. Like, you know, it's so wild to me. But yeah. I would love to. I've never had a white Christmas, which is really sad to me. Yeah. Because I really wish that that was something I could experience. I also wish I just had seasons in general. But. In Queensland, it's like pretty much 30 degrees the moment it hits September. <laughs> in like spring, it's like 30 degrees. And then it stays around that like, oh, hello, Willow. Yes, everyone can <laughs> hear you. Thank you. Do you want to come say hello again? Yeah. <laughs> um, hello. So like right now it's pretty warm. Although we had like it was so weird. So we had like a week of like almost forty degrees Celsius. So I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. That's probably like over hundred for you guys. Oh my gosh, I don't even know. Um and like it was really hot. And then like the start of this week, there were like two days where it just like dropped like by like thirty degrees. And oh we were like, what the heck is happening? Like this has never happened before. And like places down south got snow and everything, and we're like, it's almost summer. What the heck is happening? That's so, crazy. It was weird, and now it's gone back to being fun again. You That's so powerful. weird. Well, I hope you can experience snow one day. Yes, we don't get it um, where I live very often. Um, some years it doesn't snow at all, but um, every like. I don't know, I guess every few years or so we'll get like a really light snow, like in January or I'll something. I'll move for a second so we can hear what you're saying. Wait, what? I'm muting Willow for a second so that I can oh. hear what you're saying. <laughs> um, I was just saying like in, like where I live in Georgia, we don't get snow very often. Um, Like every few years or whatever, like it will get a very light snow. It might snow in like January. Um, but it's not very much and then it doesn't last for very long and it melts. So we never get very much. But when we do, we all get very excited. <laughs> That's cool. Like it, I, it snowed yeah. last year, but it was like barely anything. It like barely stuck. Do you get seasons though? Like do your leaves change and everything? Or is it just like the same kind of all year round? No, we do get seasons. Um, the the trees are really pretty right now. Like we have some that are just like all red leaves or like yellow and like the leaves are starting to fall and everything. So it's like, it's really pretty right now. That's so cool. Missy's joining us. She's just loading in. So that's fun. 
Nice. Everybody's joining. We're having a It's great. It's just like us. Awesome. Well, I live in the eight feet plus snow kingdom. <laughs> I can't even imagine that. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. Is that it's like you, you can't don't have to go anywhere? Because I don't know how much feet is. I don't know <laughs> your weird. Yeah. <laughs> oh, ours um, is weird. Okay. But about one and a half people tall. <laughs> okay. So it's like you can't walk out your front door kind of situation. Yeah. <laughs> Basically the snow was like towering over you on your driveway. So yeah. Wow. <laughs> I've seen like the photos where like the snow falls off the roof and then it's just like pressed up against the house and like you can't see the house anymore. Hello, Misty. Hi, Hi Misty. Hi. Nice Welcome. to have you here. Nice to meet you. I don't think I've met you before. <laughs> We're having a bit of a party. Yes, just chit um, if, if your screen is like swapping between everybody, if you hit like the three buttons, which is the more options button, it should allow you to change the layout to tiled and then you'll see everybody at the same time. That's a problem you're having. <laughs> cool. Lily's being very distracted over in the corner. I would have had a babysitter and by babysitter I mean just my husband <laughs> but he is trying to work on our caravan at the moment because I don't know if you guys know I only very rarely talk about it in videos now because it's just going so slowly that I'm like I can't even update you guys but my fam like me my husband and my baby are in currently in the process of moving into a caravan which so I had to explain what a caravan is to Celestia because she didn't know what it was because I didn't realize you guys use a different word for it. It's like a camper trailer. Like you guys have okay, so trailer parks. <laughs> we call mm -hmm. them caravan parks. So it's like the same thing. It's like gets pulled by the car instead of being like an RV not where like, you're driving. Not like driving through the camels in the desert. And... Yeah, that's what I told her. I was like, that's the only caravan I know of is right. like certain camels. So. No, I figured it was an RV type camper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, a, yeah, like a, yeah. The one that you like tow, not the one. Yeah, like a drive. camper. Yeah. Because you call the ones you drive an RV, right? Yeah. Because we call them motorhomes. Oh, we oh. have those too. It's like an RV or a motorhome, either. Oh, okay. Cool. And then the camper. Well, we yeah, don't have RVs, cool. as far as I know. Like it's just a caravan or a motorhome, or like just like a little van that like you look converted. But yeah, so we are currently in the process and have been since April. <laughs> it's been a long time that we've been trying to get this to happen to move into this so that we can like get closer. To my husband's work because currently we live an hour and a half away from his work and he has to drive that every day and that's like a lot yeah. um <laughs> and yeah we want to be able to travel and everything like that and we've always liked the whole van life idea but yeah it just never happened until now because the rental market in australia is like so horrifically bad that like you can't, you literally can't find a place to live anymore. So we're currently living with his family and trying to get a caravan so that we can have our own space again. You're okay, Buster. You just want to be the center of attention. And so we, yeah, are going to move into this um, caravan, but we are renovating it. And originally it was just meant to be like a two weekend kind of job, just fixing up a couple of things. But we ended up finding like a bunch of structural issues oh, and no. having the entire thing and rebuild it from scratch. Yay. And um, my husband's just been doing it like whenever he has free time on a weekend. And so it's just taking a really long time because he doesn't have that much free time. <laughs> and so he was going to look after the lid, but I was like, no, you really need to look after. <laughs> like you really need to get the caravan <laughs> more. So I'll just deal with it. Oh, my goodness. No, you can't have the laptop. Thank you. Kindly. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> so she's doing enough. Are you putting your feet up on the table? Hmm? Are you relaxing? What? Everyone can see your feet. Everyone can see your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Well, I know that'll be super exciting when y'all finally get it done and can kind yes, of like have your own space again. 
I oh. am, I just can't wait for it to be over because <laughs> it's yeah. been like a long period of time of trying to sort <laughs> everything out and yeah. Oh. It'll happen. My sister and her family, um, they just sold their house oh, recently right. and they're living in a camper right now and oh. they, they bought some property, but it's like woods and trees. So they have to like clear it out before they yeah. can like build a house and everything. So oh. hopefully they won't have to be in the camper for very long either. Cause my sister, they have two kids, so it's like kind of a lot to be in such a small little space. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't mind it too much, like being in a small space because like the couple of houses we've lived before this were really small. Mm -hmm. um, like they actually weren't much bigger than the caravan that we're moving into because they were like little okay. journey flat type things. Yeah. And like Chris and I found that it worked, but we didn't have a baby at that point. So I don't know if that will be an adjustment to also have to deal with her at the same time. <laughs> let's go, let's go get you something to eat so that you can go stand over by yourself and watch your, your show. She's watching the Wiggles at the moment. I'll be ah, back. Ah, the Wiggles. <laughs> yes. She loves Emma Wiggle and she's like, which is the yellow girl one. But... Uh -huh. At the end of last year, Emma like retired. Oh, oh, that's okay. And so now we just have to watch replays on like YouTube and stuff. Sorry, she's very loud. I'll be back in a second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she left us all alone. <laughs> she left us. No, I remember. Um, I didn't watch The Wiggles a lot when I was little, but I do remember like watching it a little bit here and there. Like I think it was like the original four guys though. I always thought it was a little weird for me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I also used to watch the Tally Tubbies, and that show is pretty weird too. So I didn't like that one either. <laughs> Looking Poor back Barney. at Oh, I loved Barney. <laughs> I like I like Chalk Zone. I don't know if you know that one. <laughs> no, I haven't heard of that one. Yeah, that was mm -hmm. an old one. And um Cyber Chase. Oh, Cyber Chase was my jam. I was a PBS kid growing up. Chase. Yes. <laughs> love cyber and i hate math but like i just watched it you know for the the characters not for the numbers <laughs> I, I never paid attention to the the math learning part i also used to um sam should hear this i i loved watching croc files that was one of my favorite shows growing up i loved steve <laughs> oh i was like what is that and then yeah okay i was like what <laughs> yeah I didn't know that's what the show was called. I used to watch it, and, like, I had a bunch of his movies. But I didn't know that's what it was called. I remember when he died, like... Oh, me too. It was such a cool And coming home and mom being, like, like, mom telling us what had happened. And, like, all the kids were just, like, devastated. So well. sad. It's one of my first memories. Oh, actually. really? I, I love Crocs because of him. <laughs> they're pretty cool like, I've, I've watched shows like after his show and i've read uh his biography and stuff and how his dad actually learned how to catch crocs safely and how to catch them around the snout versus around the neck because they can hurt themselves around the neck if they start to do a death mm -hmm. roll mm -hmm. well new shows interesting they don't know how to catch crocs mm -hmm. especially in the u.s and it makes me sad so i'm like dude just Watch Steve. Do it his way. <laughs> <laughs> he was very good. I actually live like five minutes from the zoo because I live no in way. Queensland, like, you live in Queensland, which is and like, I was like, do you live near the zoo? <laughs> yeah, I live like five minutes away. Except okay, the whole I'm time we've lived here, you. so we've we've lived here for almost two years now. Actually, we've lived here the same amount of time that Willow's been born, so a year and a half. I'm getting ahead of myself. And um, we haven't been like the whole time. I haven't been. And oh, Chris is my husband. So my, my husband, Chris, his family has lived here for the last like 10 years and they've never been while they've been here. Like I went when I was like in grade like three or four or something because it was like a school excursion. Like every school does the Australia Zoo trip. And so I did it then. But that was back when Steve was alive. So I haven't been since then. So I have like no idea what it would be like 
to go down. Oh but he's well, not go with you. I know, but it's <laughs> super expensive. It's like a oh. hundred dollars per person. Oh, like it's I a lot. That. I think wow. so. <laughs> yeah. it's a lot. That wow. is a lot. Everything oh. here is quite expensive, oh. like amusement <laughs> wise. Like all of our theme parks are about a hundred dollars each. Mm. And we only have three theme mm. parks. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I don't have a Disneyland. Although apparently South Australia might be getting one in like the next five years or something. Ooh, which... That's exciting. I've never been. You've never been to Disneyland or World? Or... No, no. I, I forget which one is in Florida, the state below me. Um, one of those, Disneyland or Disney World, is there. But no, I've never been, and it is one of my dreams to go. Yeah, you gotta go. Well, I'll come and visit and you can take me. <laughs> that could be your sounds, sounds like a plan. We would have so much fun. I've never I like never knew that there was like different ones and like that there were ones around the world. Like growing up, everything. I only found out like a year or two ago that there was more than just the singular Disneyland in America. <laughs> And because my husband and his family, they've been all over America and done all sorts of things. He's very well traveled. And yeah, they like have done it all. And so they were telling me that there's like others and all of that kind of stuff. And I was like, what? Like, what do you mean there's more than one Disneyland? And like, there's something called Disney World. And I was just like, my mind was blown. I just did not even know that was a thing. But I didn't yeah. even know that there were others besides the ones in America until like a couple years ago. And I was like, oh, there's others out there. I did not know this. Yeah, that's wild to me. Are they all super different? Does anyone know? Are they all different or are they all the same? And they're just in different parts of the world. I don't know. I think they're all pretty different. Uh, Disneyland and Disney World. Disneyland was the first one, which is the original. And Disney World is huge. You can actually fit entirely all of Disneyland into Magic Kingdom, which is just one part of Disney World's parking lot. Oh my gosh. That's how that's crazy. Yeah. Is. Okay. <laughs> so when you see and like on TV, when people go to Disneyland, like are they going to Disneyland or are they going to to Disney World? Because I've never heard anyone say, oh, I'm going to Disney World. Like I've only ever heard people say I'm going to Disneyland. No. I don't know. I've never been to Disneyland, but I've been to Disney World a few times. Mm, that's cool. Have you guys been to Universal? I've heard that's a thing. What's a what's nope. at Universal? Is that like other movies? Something else? Yeah. I all I know about it is they have like Transformers themed things and really? like Jurassic Park stuff and things like that. But I've okay. never been. So it's more like the blockbuster film type things. I think so. Yeah. We've got three here and they're all in Queensland. We pretty much have no theme parks anywhere else in Australia, which is weird. There's like little ones like which is kind of like a what you guys call a fair, but it's like permanent kind of thing. Like they're just little like amusement ride type of things. Mm -hmm. Um but we have three actual like amusement parks, which would be similar, I think, more more so like your American ones. And they're all in the Gold Coast, which is like an hour away, hour or two away from me. Um, and we have Movie World, which is like all the like Warner Brothers stuff and like the DC things. So there's like Superman ride and like Looney Tunes and like that kind of thing, Scooby-Doo. Yeah, and that's nice. There's, that's like the best one, I think, in my opinion. Not that my opinion means much, but that's my favorite one. And then there's, just because they have like a good amount of rides that are actually like thrilling. <laughs> um, and then there's SeaWorld, which is just like, there's only like five rides or something because the main thing is just like the animals. So it's like a big aquarium, basically. Mm -hmm. um and they have like dolphin shows and different things you can like mm -hmm. watch the dolphins do tricks and like there's seals and jellyfish and stuff um, that sounds i love aquariums yeah i love aquarium too aquarium too they're pretty cool um but this one's like if an aquarium was an amusement park it's a bit 
That like sounds vibrant. really fun. And then there little... is, pardon? We have something similar called Sea World, where it's like half aquarium and half amusement park. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, as it's called Sea World as well, but I don't know if it's owned by the same people. Um, and then we've got Dream World, which is like owned by different people. So like Sea World and Movie World are owned by the same company, and then. Dream World is owned by its own thing and it's got a like water park that's attached to it. And they have like a bunch of random kind of things. Like they have like Madagascar rides, but then they also have like wiggle rides and like random other things that like are uh, just not even like themed at all like the tower of terror and the giant drop like they're just random stuff i don't know like i don't know who owns them and what like what they're meant to be but they're just kind of a, a mix of a bunch of rides <laughs> it's still fun but it's like yeah it's not fun. as consistently themed as like movie world is yeah I even just like little, um, the little like county fairs um, that we have here sometimes. Like I don't even need like really big thrilling rides. Um, I like the small rides too. Those are a lot of fun. Me too. I like, <laughs> that's why I, I like, like Disney so much. <laughs> I like small rides as long as they're not slow. Like I feel like sometimes yeah. the small rides because normally they're for children are a bit too slow. Whereas, like, I'm happy with a small ride that's relatively fast as long as it, I mean, that is quick to go on as long as it's, like, fast. Does that make sense? Yeah, like, that makes sense. It doesn't have to be, yeah. like, fast that I'm terrified for my life, but just, like, <laughs> faster than, like, a car. <laughs> right. Yeah. I like the rides that, like, spin you around a lot. Yeah, oh, there's no. a lot of those. those are the I don't I guess I just don't get easily sick. So the ones that like spin in circles really, really fast are like the best ones to me. I find them no. relaxing. Those are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like the big ones that flip you up upside down and everything, but the spinning I can't handle. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, it's so weird. I like, I like the kitty rides. <laughs> <laughs> that's why i like disney world so much too. because it's for everyone <laughs> yeah yeah that's cool i oh my goodness just closed a thing and then my whole google changed that was weird um it's fine now um i we don't have like you know how you guys have like um i think they are fairs or something like that but mm -hmm. they're like on like docks and different things and like you know what i mean yeah i know what you're talking about like i've never been to one like that but i've seen them like in movies and stuff like on yeah on the dock like next yeah. to the water and like you guys seem to have some like fairs that are they're almost all year round in various towns and stuff whereas like we don't have anything like that the closest thing we have is like schools will have what's called a fate and they'll just like for one day of the year to get attention to their school they'll have like a couple of like um amusement rides or whatever and like do like a little animal farm and like food stalls or whatever and it's yeah. like very low-key kind of thing because it's just a school putting it on and like that's right. kind of all we have when it comes to like a fair the only other thing I can kind of think of that would be similar is we have what's called the ECA, which is only a Queensland thing. And for, it's like a week or two weeks in August every year, they put on this big, like, they call it the Royal Show, where they, like, show off all, like, the prize cattle and the lumberjacks that, like, do the axe chopping really fast and, like, they have, like, food and show bags and... Um, they normally have, like, a handful of rides, but, like, nothing, I don't think, to no, your right. scale of stuff. Well, that sounds fun, though. Oh, it I see uh, Miriam and Bailey's here. Hey, you guys. Yay, guys, if you want to join the chat, 
in the live stream chat, I've put a link and a code that will allow you to join the meeting. And all you need is your like Gmail and you can join and like chat with us properly because we had some technical issues <laughs> and this was the result. And so we've just decided to add everyone to it if they want to. So, yes, this did not go as planned, so we improvised. But if you just scroll up in the chat a little bit, you'll see the link and then the code is directly under it. You have to enter that code yeah. to like join. And then I'll just but, accept you and you can chat with us. If you don't want to put your camera or your microphone on, that's fine. But yeah, we were just having fun because like for some reason we can't see the live chat unless we open it separately. It hasn't turned out how we want it, <laughs> but <laughs> it's still something. Do y'all want to try reading a little bit? I mean, we can. I'm happy to. I mean, me too. I really want to like start our book. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of, I'm like really interested. So this is the book that we're reading. The Fifth Man, yes, which is freaky because there is not five of them. So who the heck is going to be the fifth man? Girl, I didn't even think about that. I was like, the moment <laughs> I saw the title, I was like, what? Surely it's oh, that's an really scary because there is there's four of them. So like, yeah. is it an alien? That's what I'm like. Is it an alien? Are we having aliens, or is it something? Oh my god. I'm I so know. intrigued now. I didn't even, I never even considered the title and like what it meant. Miriam, means. you can join in your pajamas. It's okay. If you Girl, want, I don't you know, know, your mic on <laughs> and just like turn off your camera. I think I'm the only one somewhat well dressed just because it's daytime for me. <laughs> Everyone else, yeah, it's like the middle of the day. For you're me. all ready for bed. I'm dressed. I wasn't dressed last night when I was, well, I was <laughs> top up <laughs> and then I had pajamas on. <laughs> We're just comfy hanging out. I think next time we do this, though, we'll deliberately make it like a pajama party or something. That'd be fun. That would be fun. I feel like that would be yes, fun. I agree. And I'll just go sit in a dark room so I can relate. <laughs> I, I need to go find my bookmark because I gave it to Willow and she ran off with it. Oh, no, she stole it. Oh, there it is. Hang on. I just found it. Oh. So, Katie, you told us what you were going to be reading in the other live stream we started. Carmen, did you tell us? Are you going to be reading anything? Yes, I'm working on the Book of Lost Names. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, is that good. good? Sorry? Is it good? Because I thought about um, getting it. I just, like, read the first page of the first chapter. <laughs> oh, okay. So, so you're like, you, yeah, it's all new to me, but, yeah, I'm excited because just that little bit has me intrigued, so. Awesome. I like never even heard of that author before, so I need to look her up now. I yeah. heard of that book from, I want to say, like, it was either Chantel or like Oshina mentioned it in passing. And I was yeah, like, I oh, think I heard it somewhere. And I think, Katie, you read it, didn't you? Yeah, I read it last okay. year. Yeah. Is it okay. good? Katie, is it good? As someone who read it. <laughs> I enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> the ending okay. did make me tear up, not in a bad way. Yeah. Um, but I was in the car. Like, I don't like people seeing me cry. So, like, I was reading it. I'm, like, holding in my tears. Like, so my parents <laughs> What's wrong with you? What's going I love, on? <laughs> I love when books cry. So, that's a good sign. <laughs> I feel like if, if a book makes me I'm cry, it's, like, really, really good, like, emotional. Yeah, exactly. Thing, because it's, it's yeah. really hard for me to, like, work up tears yeah. when I'm like it has to be written really like heartbreaking. Like it has to be so horribly sad. Missy said she's reading Phantom of the Opera. Ooh, I know. Ooh, possibly Katie, right reading Missy. Secrets in the Mist. That's so cool. Bailey, you can join us on video. There's a link up in the top of the chat if you like scroll up in the live chat, and if you click on it, as long as you have a like Gmail account, it'll let you join. So you can join us. Because we just decided to do it this way because it it um wasn't working how we wanted it to. So we were struggling. Yes. Because the the program we were gonna use, which was like, oh, you just send this link and your guests will be able to join and everything will work seamlessly, did not work at all. Like it did not work. It just kept giving Celestia an error. And we were like, what the heck? And then it and took us like 20 minutes to get the like tech assistant help and they like they were like, oh, sorry, I can't, like, sit here and chat with you. You are too busy. So, like, I'll just come check in on you every, like, five or ten minutes. And I was like, no. 
that's like that's their job what are they doing <laughs> yeah well i i don't know that maybe they don't have enough customer people. service <laughs> And so I was like, fine, I'm just going to give in and I'm going to pay for something. And so we found that Google can do this. But it doesn't, like, stream properly because it doesn't show everyone's faces all at once. And so we were like, let's just add everyone to the to the Google Meet and then everyone can see everyone properly. And that's where we are. So if you want to join, join. You have the option of turning on your mic or your video. So if you, like, aren't appropriately dressed or you don't feel beautiful, so we will beg to differ. You can join without your video, but you can still chat with us if you want. And Willow's here, guys. For the the people, this is my daughter Willow. She's a cutie, but she's loud. <laughs> cool. Okay. Well, I reckon we read for like what twenty minutes, and then. Come back. That's good. Or is that Bailey like said she can't join because she's reading on her phone. Yeah, I'm reading on my phone too, but I was able to hook up my laptop so I could do both. Next time though, like probably in a couple of weeks, we'll try this again, but like deliberately in this format. So we'll let everyone know, like, hey, we're gonna do a mass Google meet. <laughs> and so everyone can like be prepared for it. Because that would yeah. be fun. Yeah. Also, the wiggles are singing in the background, and I just heard it, and I was like, "Well, what was that?" And then I realized <laughs> that it was the wiggles. I can't hear them. But Bailey, we're so glad that you are here, even if you're not on video with us. Yes. We're glad all of you guys are here. Thank you for coming. Yes, and like Missy and Miriam, thank you for joining. Yes. This is so fun. I'm so excited. No, I know it's not what we had hoped, but it's something. It's something. Yes. Fair enough, Bailey. She doesn't have a laptop yet, so Understand. she has to pick between using her phone. Maybe you you can read a physical book next time, so you can do it on your phone. Because you can you can do this on your like the um, video on your phone, because it's just like um, an app on your phone. If you want to do it on your phone, I think Katie said she was doing it on her phone, right, Katie? <laughs> you're doing it on your phone, right? Sorry. You're you're yeah, filming on your phone, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so she's using that. So, yeah, there is that option if you want, but don't feel pressured. I'm not trying to press that, anybody. <laughs> okay, but let's start reading for 20 minutes, okay. and we will come back. I'm just going to set an alarm so, like, we know when to come back. Okay. And I'm going to mute myself in case I burp or anything. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. That's all good. You can mute yourself. I might have to because Willow is going to probably talk for the next 20 minutes. <laughs> Distract everybody. <laughs> Okay, cool. Starting now. Yay.
20 minutes. What pace did you get up to? You need it. <laughs> I got to page 18. I got to 17, so pretty close. Okay. Things are getting interesting very quickly. <laughs> it's like straight off with the drama already. I know. Also, I'm going to try to be like super vague and careful about what I say since this is book two. I don't want to like even give minor spoilers, but the person that we both can't stand still can't stand this person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I forgot. I guess we can say that it because it's not a huge spoiler, right? I forgot what happens to his face. And I was wait. Like, what? I forgot what happened. How he had to get his eye removed. Oh. Because <laughs> it got eaten. <laughs> and I was like. When he like casually mentioned it in passing, I was like, oh yeah, I forgot that happened. <laughs> oh bye, yeah. Miriam. Have a great night. Sorry bye, this Miriam. went so late. We were meant to be like a whole hour. Yeah, it was supposed to be earlier. Sorry about that. But I'm glad you could stop by at least for a little bit. It was good seeing you. So good. Thank you guys. Awesome. What about you, Carmen and Katie? What did you get up to? Hello. And Bailey, too. <laughs> um, I was at page three when I started, and I got to page 23, so 20 pages. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's actually so good. Very nice. Um, to answer your question, Bailey, uh, Celestia and I are reading The Fifth Man. Sorry, Katie, I got you off. <laughs> this sci-fi, by the way. Yeah, it's a Christian sci-fi, and it's book two. And yes. it's wild. What did you say, Katie? Sorry about how far you got. I only got about five pages in, or I'm, well, I'm on page 233, but I started Bible journaling. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's so good. Very nice. If, if I hadn't have been, like, because Celestia and I are trying to buddy read this, because um, we buddy read the first one, if I wasn't doing, like, if we had decided not to pick to do our buddy read, I would have probably just yeah done some bible generally too just because it's good you know it's good for yourself i did when um chantelle did a live stream like two weeks ago or something it was at 6 a.m in the morning for me and i was like i'm so tired but i'm gonna be there so i like showed up and i like <laughs> i it took me like the first sprint i just kind of sat there and like took the time to wake up and then the second like sprint that we did I just ended up like just doing my Bible study, which I very rarely read the Bible in the morning, but I do get why people do it. Like it seems to energize you for the day, which is nice. But I'm also really not a morning person, so it definitely won't be a habit. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a morning person either. Yes, Bailey, he did deserve losing his life. <laughs> He's an <laughs> asshole. He's, He's horrible. horrible. We hate him. <laughs> Yeah, he thought the whole first book, he just treated everyone like crap. Like, absolutely. Oh. He's a terrible person. Jamie anyway. got six pages in. What are you reading? I can't remember if you said already. In... <laughs> I'll be back for one sec. Okay. Bailey, you're talking about the book. You definitely should, um, if you like sci-fi. Um, yeah, it was it was a wild ride, but it was like a lot of fun. Um, also, I would recommend finding someone to buddy read it with if you do, because it makes it like ten times more fun um, because of all the crazy stuff that happens. But yeah, it's a really good series, and book two is already like exciting, so very good. Oh yeah, a voice in the wind. 
that's right. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, Bailey, it's really easy to get, like, stuck in just, like, reading one genre. Um, so, yeah, it's it's fun to try new things sometimes. Whereas <laughs> I am bordering my horizons, bordering, <laughs> broadening, broadening my horizons by reading romance because that's, like, so not my thing. But <laughs> when I read Redeeming, yeah, that was pretty good. I haven't watched your Redeeming Love video yet um and i'm going to but i saw that it said it was like your first romance i was like what <laughs> yeah i've like you... i've like aggressively spent my whole life avoiding them like the plague <laughs> because like i was never that i was never a girly girl like growing up like never and i can handle like rom-coms they're okay but like straight up romance, absolutely not. Oh my gosh. I used to live for romance books. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I, I don't, like, I haven't really read any because I'm just either, ex like, I had always expected they need to be super cringy or inappropriate. And mm -hmm. so I was like really worried about that. And then obviously I joined the community and I found out that like Christian romance can like like doesn't necessarily have inappropriate stuff mm -hmm. and it if you find a good author they're not cringy so i was like okay i'll give it a go because everyone like everyone likes francine rivers so i was like yeah she's so popular. popular so i thought i would branch out and it was a good experience i weeped i weeped and weeped and weeped and weeped the week. Like the whole like second half of the vlog pretty much is just like my reactions to different things that are happening. Oh and my like gosh. there's just like a whole like five minutes where I'm just crying my eyes out. I can't wait to watch it. Yeah. But again, I was not expecting because like I didn't know there were any triggers or anything for the book before I read it. Or that, like, Francine can be a bit risque. Like, oh, she's yeah. risque in the sense that, like, they were married. But, like, uh -huh. the fact that they even, like, talked about it, I was like, yeah. okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, yeah. And then everyone was like, yeah, Francine's a little on the borderline. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas, like, yeah. all the Christian romance people aren't. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, it probably would have been good as a heads up, but it was all right. Yeah. I'm sorry you were not forewarned. <laughs> yeah. I figured there'd be stuff like that in it because, like, of the story of Hosea. But right. I wasn't expecting it to be, like, between the husband and wife. Yeah. <laughs> in that way. Like, right. I thought they'd just to, like, refer to her job or whatever. But I didn't think that they would, like, like... You know, have a yeah. scene. <laughs> right. Like, oh, I have walked into someone's room inappropriate <laughs> up the door. Yeah. 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 Funny. I'm, I'm probably the one with the uh, least popular opinion of Redeeming Love, but I didn't love it. I think I read it too young, and that mm. it just ruined it for me. And so, but I love her other books that I've read. So. <laughs> yeah, Redeeming I definitely like if I read that. Yeah, if I'd read that a few years ago, I definitely probably wouldn't have liked it for sure. Yeah. Because you yeah, you have to you have to be at that place where you can be mature enough to deal with it, I guess. Yeah. Definitely. And so. especially since it's so heavy. Like I wasn't expecting it to yeah, be true. that heavy. I was like do you for real but for me like even reading it like the bits that made me upset weren't like actually because of like the story it was because of like the faith and like it reminding me of like Jesus's love and then I'd think about Jesus's love and what he's done for us and then I'd start crying because like yeah <laughs> all of that kind of stuff but yeah well for the record, some people already know this. I didn't really like Redeeming Love either. I'm not a fan of all of the risque content. I don't like it. Yeah. Um. I, so I read I it for the first time this year, and I was like, oh, this is a little too much for me. I don't know. This is yeah, not comfortable. Yeah. 
<laughs> it's there's just kind of that I'll one actually, scene at the big like in the first like hundred pages or whatever, there's that one scene that's like really risky. But after that, there's like no more of that. So it was kind of all right. Like at least from what I found. Like I feel like if you had gotten to that scene and then like it just DNF'd it because you're like, no, like it's not <laughs> yeah. a real good like indication of what the rest of the book is like because it doesn't happen again like it's just kind of that one time they talk about like sexual tension later on but like there's no like we're having we're having some love making time now like, I, don't know. I, I read the whole um, thing and it was just like it was just a lot and then yeah. even besides that like a lot of other stuff that was happening i was like I, like I, I'm not going to go into detail because I don't want to spoil it for people that haven't read it. But like, mm -hmm. so many things, and I'm like, this was I didn't need to know this. This was unnecessary. I, I do think people need to be <laughs> aware about like the mistreatment of children, though, mm -hmm. because yeah. I didn't know yeah. about that bit, and like that was really like really hard to read about, and I feel like that would set people off for sure. Yeah, that is very hard to read about. I think. So Jamie's got up to a hundred pages, but of of um, voice in the wind, but she said she thinks it's going to take her all November <laughs> to read. And Bailey's like, "No, you got to get past the first hundred and twenty, and then it gets good." Because I feel like a lot of people have said that about Voice in the Wind. They're like, the first bit is like a drag. And then, like, it gets good towards the end. I read and it then in they all 24 it. hours. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what um Amanda did that. Because she, yeah, like, she was like, one. oh, about the first bit. And then she was like, no, I'm just going to sit down and, like, read the second half. And then yeah. she got super addicted. And she just kept reading and then read all of book two as and well, which was, like, of how it ends. That's exactly what happened to me. <laughs> I read the whole trilogy in three days. So it was crazy. <laughs> no, that is, you read those really fast. Yeah, I was, I, I would, I, every spare minute, I was just devouring it. <laughs> There you go, Jamie. You've got lots to look forward to because apparently after like the halfway mark, everyone gets obsessed. I have heard uh, everyone that I've heard read it so far, they're like, you have to have the second book on hand. Oh, yeah. Like you sure. don't necessarily have to have the third book, but you have to have the second book on hand if you're going to read it. Yeah. Cause yeah, because I... The first book ends. Yeah. I had the whole trilogy and I completely read book one but I didn't really want to continue the series, but like I had to know because of the way it ended. I was like, I have to know how kind yeah. of some things happen. So I did skim through the second book to like, you know. Get your answers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> when that happens to me, like if I'm watching like, for example, like a TV series and like, I've decided like I'm done with the TV series, but I still want to know what happens. I just look up the synopsis and like find exactly. out what happens. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm yes. like, bro. I, I had to do that with um, Assassin's Apprentice because, boy, I have, like, the worst opinion of Assassin's Apprentice, apparently. Um, but I thought it was so boring and so tragic that I just couldn't keep reading it. Like, I got to, like, three quarters through the second book and I just couldn't do it anymore. I was like, this is just too much. Like, there's no reprieve like the whole like all book one all book two there's no reprieve for this poor guy that's the main character and i was just like i can't keep doing this and i was like i need to know this ends well or like this will wreck me because i've spent so much time like going through this and i have to know something ends well because i'm just too sensitive of a person to like deal with it <laughs> otherwise yeah. and so i looked up the synopsis and i found out what happens with like the like the love story that's happening in the background and I was like absolutely not like <laughs> no because it is like so messed up like so messed up um yeah and apparent like it because it it goes past just that trilogy because she's got like lots of trilogies but they're all happening at kind of at the same time but from different people's perspectives mm -hmm. and 
they're like slightly like some of them are like a year ahead or like middle of a, another series or like at the end of another series like they're all interconnected so you kind of have to read all of them to get the full story and like this love story goes across some of the different trilogies and like what happens along the way is like like I could not deal I could not deal with it so I was like nope okay I'm just gonna continue like I'm just gonna DNF and that's gonna be fine <laughs> and it's all right whereas like everyone else is reading it and they're like I love hope it's the best blah 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 I'm like how like this is terrible I don't get it yeah, so I've heard like that that series is so good. So I've been really interested in reading it. But now I'm like, hmm, should I? Yeah, it's like, because, and I read a lot of fantasy. So, like, I feel like my opinion is somewhat trusted in the fantasy, like the Christian <laughs> fantasy realm, because mm -hmm. I'm like probably the one of the only ones that right. do fantasy. Like, yeah. Everyone else is like romance or like alternative or whatever. Um, whereas I don't do that. So I'm over in the fantasy mm -hmm. section. Um, but all of you romance like people fantasy. are reading the hot stuff and loving it. And I'm like, no, like, what is wrong? <laughs> like, I, I think this is not good. And I know some like of the older generation, they love Hob because they all grew up reading that really like, slow burn fantasy where like everything takes 50 years to happen in the book <laughs> like they used to that before they grew up reading so they love hob and that's why she's like famous like that's why everyone's like oh hob um whereas like i am not of that generation and so i've read all the like bam 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 action action all of this stuff is happening all these people are dying and everything's going on and like whatever and so like reading hob is like having my like eyelashes pulled out it's just oh so slow. <laughs> but it's so slow oh my God. But the setting is great and her writing is pretty decent but like it's just so slow oh my goodness <laughs> anyway well now i'm glad i know this so that if i do read it i'll have a little more of an idea you know to expect that yeah. Also, yeah. side note, I thought Robin Hobb was a guy. So this is it. Yeah, everyone says that. She's a girl. Okay. It's like Robin as Robin. in like female Robin. Yeah. Like, um, how I Met Your Mother. <laughs> I right? That's a girl. I haven't, Robin. I haven't really seen it. I just have seen like ads or whatever. Either. One of the girls' names Robin. Interesting. It's because of how she spelled it. She's, hers is spelled like the bird. Whereas I feel like normally if it's a female, it's spelt with a Y. Yeah, I have seen it both ways. I haven't known that many Robins, though. Yeah, me neither. I've only known one Robin in real life, and I think hers was spelled with a Y. So She is um, older, though. Like, she was really famous, like, early 2000s and everything. So, like, sh her name is a bit more old-fashioned. Yeah. But... Yeah. But Bailey said, what's y'all's favorite fantasy book wreck? I need to try it. <laughs> Chris, okay, Christian fantasy, that's easy. Best Christian fantasy is Wing Feather Saga. Hands down. Oh, that's a good one. Hands yes. down. Wing Feather Saga. Like, like, it's just perfect in every way. Honestly, I guess I should say I've that's the only fantasy series I've that. read. <laughs> it's so good. It's perfect. It's my favorite series so of all time. Um, sorry, that was a little bit of background. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good series, though. Well, I've only read book one, but I really want to continue it. It's just like so quirky and like cute and fun and unique, yes. and I just love it so. Much. I love it so much. It's like you guys... the faith at the, in the last book is like so emotional. I bawled my eyes yeah. out. I yeah. cried, and even in my review, because I've done a review on the channel, and like I did a no spoiler review, so you can go watch it. But like the end of that review for like the last like three minutes of that review, I'm just crying. <laughs> it's just like I couldn't not cry just even talking about it. But it's so good. Um, and yes, it's funny. Like it's, it's so it's funny. It's an epic fantasy yeah. where like everything is made up. Like even their like vegetables and their animals and everything like is made up. But it's 
funny, which is good. And it's technically middle grade, but the way Andrew Peterson writes it, it could be for anyone. Like, easy. It okay. could be for anyone. Like, it, it doesn't at all feel like mm. you're reading a children's book or, like, it's been dumbed down or anything like that. Like, it's yeah. it's amazing. Did I read get, all four books in, like, three days. I just... Did you guys just, get the book with the seven extra stories from the from that world? I did. No. I don't like it as much. Yeah. I didn't love all the stories, but I found some of them very interesting, and I, I like the addition. Um, yes. Yeah. Me too. To some of the stories, but so, yeah, they, some of them weren't all that great. But they weren't all written by Andrew Peterson, right? Like exactly. There was other like collabs or something. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. It was cool. That's like a that's like so. There's four in the main series, which follow that Andrew Peterson has right written, and then yeah, there's this fifth book, which yeah. is like a compilation that him and his friends have written about different characters in the world. And then he's mm -hmm. also got the Creaturepedia, which I do have, which is just like a tiny little oh, book. I have that. that. I want to get is, it. <laughs> it's written by one of the characters in the books. And yeah. he is just like, he's basically made this little encyclopedia of all the different animals and how deadly they are. Like, so that you can like, just feel like you're more part of the world. It's very cool. And yeah. season one is being released in December, and I know, I'm so in excited. my mind. <laughs> I'm so excited. I was devastated because so they they for season two were letting people um, like invest in it, like mm -hmm. you. So like if it ever became big, like Veggie Tales you would get like royalties from that because you basically have shares in the company. And I was going to do it and my husband was going to let me do it. But it's US only and I was so oh, desperate. No. Oh, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's so depressing. Yeah. I even like I filled out all the forms and everything. And then like right at the end, it's like, you need to be a part of the US. And I was like, are you flipping kidding me? Oh, I'm just bummer. Like, this no, that sucks. It sucks, yeah. But so good. And if you can invest in it, invest in it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I, I need to that. look into that. It's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend Wing Feather Saga. But apart from that, my favorites are Mistborn. But that's not Christian. Um, but that is, like, just really good fantasy. And it's completely clean. Um, but it's tragic in a good way <laughs> like it's I have never reacted so strongly to a book series as I did with Miss Bond like I was physically hitting myself with the book because of some <laughs> decisions and what was happening I was like sitting there in the living room literally like no stop it no and my husband was like are you okay and I was like I'm not okay <laughs> but, I love that. <laughs> he like Brendan Tennyson writes so well, so I definitely recommend Miss Vaughn. And I it's easy that's... if you're new to fantasy. Like, some high fantasy is so difficult yeah. as a newbie if you're not used to reading that kind of stuff. But Miss Vaughn is, like, a perfect beginner level of high fantasy, so I do definitely recommend that. And it's a cool concept. Like, I don't know if you guys know with Miss Vaughn, but the people, if you're a Miss Vaughn, you can swallow different metals and they give you different abilities and you can like push and pull on metal and like um affect people's emotions and like do all sorts of stuff by eating metal it's super cool it's very cool like they can fly because they can like push off metal and like jump in the air and like they have these things called a mist coat, which is like a tassely coat thing that helps them like disappear in the mist when they're like jumping around at night. And I really want one. <laughs> Very cool. Bailey said, who writes it? If you're talking about a uh, mistborn, it's Brandon Sanderson. Yeah. And if you're talking about um, Wing Feather Saga, it's Andrew Peterson. I checked out Mistborn from the library last year and then I never read it. Oh, bro, you missed that so hardcore. <laughs> also, the first Mistborn is very cool because he wrote it in the intention of being like, what if I wrote a like heist 
style book that mm-hmm. was fantasy. So like uh-huh. the first book um, is about this like crew of basically like vagabonds who like join up together because they all have different abilities and they like plot this huge scale like plan to kill the emperor who is like part emperor part god he's not actually part god but like he he says that he is because he wants people to think he's immortal and um yeah it's like this whole thing and like there's multiple stages to this plan to get it to all work out because like you can't just go up and kill this guy like there's all of this other stuff going on that they have to like they basically have to like there's lots of different stages and they have to make sure everything aligns so that they even have a shot at like taking this guy down and it's just like that sounds so good oh good and there's lots of like manipulation and like all sorts of stuff that's just like perfectly done. It's just so well done. No, I like, love that plot. That's nice. so good. I've like, I guess I've never really heard like a summary for the book, really. So that's the first time hearing about any of that. That sounds really interesting. It's really cool. It's very cool. And like, there's, um, that he writes characters really well because he gives everyone really strong personalities, and like. Pretty much every character he writes has some kind of like um, weakness or like mental illness or something that really grounds them and makes them human. And he writes their emotions very well and their like conscience very well. And he's very good at that whole I'm having an inner battle kind of thing, which Morgan Albasi is really good at as well. Um, but yeah, he like really writes all of that kind of stuff really well. So it's really good. I haven't read read Wish, Wish Tris <laughs> Bailey, so I can't recommend it because well, I can't get I it it. until February. Wait, what about February? I can't get Wish Tris in Australia until February. Oh, oh well, don't want to read. I pre-ordered it, but it, it <laughs> like it doesn't arrive. Like it doesn't release here until February second, and I'm so annoyed. Oh, it'll be here before you know it. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, I recommend it. I read it and it's one of my favorite books of the year. I love it. And I would also highly recommend you read that one, Bailey, because I feel like, um, you know, for your first like fantasy book, the magic isn't like too much, you know, like there's not too much going on. So I feel like it'd be really easy for like a newbie to fantasy to like handle and to like, you know, be able to enjoy. And Even it's a standard. The Raven was a you're not like, you know, investing in like a whole series. It's just one book. So it's really good. I love it. Even Mark of the Raven isn't bad. That's a trilogy. Yes, um, I love that series. But like, that's not really like epic fantasy or anything. Like there's, the magic is very low key, I would say. That's how it is in Wishtress too. Like it's, it's yeah. really low key. Like there's not like a ton of fantasy stuff going on. No. Ugh, I love Mark of the Raven. It's my favorite Morgan L. Bussey book. So good. Or yeah, series. So good. I've just ordered her, um, the steampunk one that she's got. But the second book arrived and this first book was out of stock. So I have to wait for the first one to arrive. So I'm just like, oh. it sucks. Yeah. Which steampunk series? Is it Tainted? Right? Yeah. Now? Yeah. Tainted okay. and whatever the Unleashed or whatever the second one's called. What's it called? Um, mm-hmm. I don't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. I've got it. I've got the second one, but I don't have. I don't have painted. It hasn't arrived yet. I think they have to print. Oh, it's awakened. Awakened. That's what it is. Yeah. Do you guys read any fantasy, Katie or Carmen, um, or even um, Jamie? I haven't actually read up almost anything really, except for like heavy horror. But, um, but I read almost anything. Um, I do enjoy fantasy and sci-fi. I just been so busy this year with challenges that I haven't had a chance to read all the new stuff coming out. <laughs> yeah, I I don't really. I've only ever read the Wing Feather Saga. Um, I've every one every book that I tried it just did not fit with me. I don't know, 
but I keep saying all of these good ideas that everyone's loving, so I might dip my toes into it and try it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Some of them, like, I have found some fantasy that I, like, really love and some that I really don't love. And it's also hard to find yeah. good clean fantasy because, mm -hmm. like, there's really not that much out there. And I feel like some of the Christian fantasy, unless you're – unless you are forewarned that it's very heavy on the faith stuff, sometimes it can detract from the story, uh, which yeah. I know sounds bad, but, like, no, I, know, I know what you're saying. saying. I yeah. think it's also part of, like, how it's written as well. Mm -hmm. Hello, Willow. Mm -hmm. Are you trying to get detention? I've got <laughs> food all over my face. Hi, Willow. <laughs> Hi, <Kate>. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Hello. Bailey, if you friend Harry Potter, you can handle these other books. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's true. I okay, I only read Harry Potter like two years ago, three years ago. And I don't get why everyone loves it so much. I don't <laughs> You are muted. <laughs> well, anyway, while waiting for, yeah, I never read Harry Potter either. I just, I have no interest in it. And yeah, me neither. <laughs> I do really like, though, there was one fantasy that I really did enjoy this year was. The Story Peddler by Lindsay Franklin. I haven't read the rest, but that one was really good. I like that one. Yeah, I read that first one too. I thought that the character was a bit annoying at first, like the main girl. Her, her decisions were stupid and her reasoning was stupid and I hated her. But then the more I read the book, I was like, no, I'm vibing with this. I'm vibing with this. But at first she was annoying. I've, I really, really, really want to read The Story Peddler. I've seen a like it mentioned a lot. It looks really good. And also I've never read Harry Potter before, so but there's like so many fantasy books and series out there that I want to read so bad. But there's just too many. I can't keep up with them all. <laughs> Me too. The I list is endless. List of like everybody chatting about these, I'm like, okay, I'll get to that next year. I'll get to that. I year know. Year. <laughs> I know. It's so sad. There is a lot of fantasy out there, and it's hard to find. Yeah, like I said, it's hard to sift through and find the good stuff. Um, that isn't a waste of time or money. <laughs> but when you find good stuff, it's really good. I really enjoyed the Christian fantasy. I really enjoyed. Um, the Wolf Soldier, which is one of the Anclay publishing books. It was good. I like. I love the cover. It's so pretty. That one was good. It's very strong on the faith, though. Like it's, it's a bit like um, Lord of the Rings. If Lord of the Rings was even more on the nose about God, um, but. It didn't bother me because I knew that going in. Like, I expected it, and then, like, it was good. Sorry, baby. Yeah, I found we're hating on Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm a Ravenclaw. I don't know what I am. I'm a Ravenclaw. <laughs> Just because I'm so smart, you know? <laughs> Kidding. I don't know why I'm a Ravenclaw. I think I do think that like if I was a kid and I'd read Harry Potter and like grown up with it I would have vibed with it a lot more but I just didn't like her writing in the first few books just because it was I felt like she was dumbing it down <laughs> because it was originally designed to like young kids yeah Hufflepuff! So good. Bailey's a Hufflepuff. 
So I was just. I have no idea my... what that means, but there's four like houses. Is that what they're called? Houses: Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Is that what it's called? Is that I what it's have... called, Riley? This <laughs> um... <laughs> right. I have heard of those. I've forgotten. I've forgotten. And Slytherin's like the evil ones. Ravenclaw's like the smart, glammy ones. Hufflepuff is like just like the fun loving, like happy ones. And then Gryffindor's like the hero. I gotta save people. I'm a team leader. Kind of. That one. makes sense. Right? I think that's the right. Tell me if I've like explained them. The right. fun loving, happy ones. But yeah. A lot of people take pride in being a Slytherin, which I find really interesting because they're meant to be evil. And it's like, well, yeah, you've got a big ego. No wonder you like being a Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> I knew some people at my old work and they like loved Harry Potter and they were like, I'm a Slytherin, yeah. And I was just like, mm hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> Couple parts of the average Joes. I think you're, yeah, so much more than that. You're like the the ones that bring the fun and the happiness. That's normally what the Hufflepuffs are. I've forgotten what the colours are though. Slytherin's green. Ravenclaw's purple. Is Hufflepuff yellow or red? I don't remember. <laughs> Bailey's like, I would not want to be a Slytherin. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's who like um Voldemort and like Draco and all of that, all the evil characters in the book, they're all from Slytherin. Which like talk about being obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again though, like I can't hate on it that much because like it is written for kids. Like you can't be mad when a kid series is like very obviously written for kids. Yellow and black is Hufflepuff, there you go. Like a bumblebee, cute. Now I wish I was a bumblebee. Red and gold is Gryffindor. See, they have all different colors. It's very interesting. Apparently everyone's upset though because they don't like JK Rowling anymore. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. I don't get that. Like, why, can, why can't people have their opinions and then not affect their work? I don't understand that. <sighs> the world is crazy these days. It's like that other guy. What's his name? Jay Kristoff or whatever, the guy that writes those vampire books. He writes some, um, like, um, his latest book was like M Empire of the Vampire or something. <laughs> something like that. And, like, he's he's known for, like, his, like, high fantasy vampire-y type books. Um, I haven't read any of his stuff, but he's just, like, relatively well-known in the secular book reading world. And, like, when his last book came out, everyone was like, I don't know if I should buy it because I would be supporting him and I don't like, I don't like his beliefs or whatever because I don't know what he said, but obviously he said something that, like, the mainstream don't agree with. Right. And, like, now he's, like, suffering for it. And I'm like, I don't know if I think that's great. No, that's terrible. Happens a lot these days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, I don't get it. But anyway. And it seems like you get more popularity if you subscribe to all of that stuff. Like, mm -hmm. if you so openly true. show support for things. Yeah. But. It's ridiculous. And they cancel everybody yeah. over every little thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, J.K. Rowling's in trouble because she is anti-trans. Yeah. And she believes that women are women and men are men and mm -hmm. that no amount of, like, sex change will change that. And she's, like, openly said that on, like, Twitter and things and now everyone's, like, hating on her because they're, like, you discriminate. It is a bit messy. Yeah, it is a bit messy. <laughs> but... Yep. Um, even like it's going so far as like um what's that game that they play in Harry Potter? Quidditch. 
um quidditch that's what it's called um there's like people in real life that play that did you know that guys what it's no like so, yeah like harry potter is so popular that people buy broomsticks and like go to an <laughs> oval and they play quidditch and like people like it's like um there's like actual like competitions about it and everything like it's a huge thing and they want to change the name to disassociate it from like what jk rowling has um, established because they're like so mad at her or whatever i'm just like okay it's just so over the top yeah 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 but Crazy. i mean i'm kind of glad that it at least seems for now that our corner of youtube hasn't been discovered yet <laughs> because i know like, right? <laughs> I'm just waiting for the ball to drop. Right. No. We're just all gonna be like crucified. Um No, I, I've thought of that before. I'm like, wow, we've been like pretty safe from all these things. I guess because yeah. like most of us are on the smaller side, you know. But yeah. so we haven't like been discovered nice. by all those people. And so I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I think it's it helps too that like we're all supporting each other, so it's kind of staying in the same circle. Which yeah. Is good. Yeah. But I'm still waiting for the day that they like clue on, or even like just the algorithm clues on, and it's like no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You will die now. I know. But I'm just like, leave us alone. We're having fun in our little community here. Don't come bother us. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and yes, Bailey, cancel culture is so bad. It's so bad. Oh, is Stephanie Meyer in that situation too of being problematic? I didn't know that, Jamie. I had never read a Stephanie Meyer anything, but I did buy her The Host, is that what it's called, um, book because a bunch of you booktubers were reading it and you were like, it's like a sci-fi about <laughs> aliens and stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm down. I'll try that. I'm not going to go to vampires, but I'll try, I'll try that because it sounds exactly like Stargate and the gold in Stargate. And that's a super nerdy thing to say. But my husband wants me to do a comparison of the two and see if she's just ripped off that show. <laughs> do it. I'd love because to it, find out about that. <laughs> do you guys know what Stargate is? It's amazing. I do. I've heard of it. I, I think I even it. I think it's I awesome. might have tried watching an episode a long time ago, but I never got into it. So Stargate that's Atlantis awesome. is my favorite out of the franchise. Stargate Universe is horrific and no one should ever watch that. It went off kilter. That was like the last season they made, like the last like show that they made before they got like cancelled because everyone hated it. Um, and so it got cancelled. But it goes Stargate or SG-1 first and then it goes Stargate Atlantis and then I think there's one other in between. And then there's Stargate Universe, which is terrible. Um, but they're also going to bring back Stargate. They're, like, in the process of making a remake, which I'm excited for. Mm -hmm. But it's, like, ultra nerdy. It's basically Star Trek and, like, Star Wars and all of that vein of stuff, but better. Because people go through these portals to different worlds and there's all these different aliens and stuff. It's very cool. I love um, Stargate SG-1. That was my favorite. I love Jack. Like, <laughs> yes, so Jack is so cool. I love him, Colonel Jack. Um, but I liked Atlantis better because they are in. So Stargate SG One is like they're on Earth and they find this portal and they go through it and they find all these other worlds, like alien worlds, and it's like the military and all that. But Stargate Atlantis is this like group of like military people and researchers have gone through a portal into like a different galaxy and they found atlantis which is like this sunk in the ancient city and they've like made it come back to the surface and it's just full of all this alien technology from these beings called the ancients which we are like descendants of and they're like trying to discover all of this stuff out and they're also like traveling through to different worlds and finding all these other aliens and they're being hunted down by these like evil aliens that are trying to suck the souls off everyone. It's very cool. Um, it sounds good. It's very yeah, good. I always like, like, skip the first episode or fast forward through it because 
for some reason. I'm glad we didn't, didn't watch the first episode of Stargate yeah. HD1 because there is um, unclothed woman in it. Oh, yes. SG-1 has, has like, yeah, it's one weird. nudity scene and then they just yeah, didn't do it ever episode. again. Because yeah, ever everyone again. was like, I'm we like, don't like this. <laughs> and they actually listen. Yeah, so I'm glad they changed. <laughs> but Stargate Atlantis doesn't have any of that stuff. It's completely clean, which is good. Um, but yeah. Stargate Universe Stargate is very is inappropriate. Stargate Universe is very inappropriate. Which is why it only lasted like a season because everyone was like, no, how dare you destroy our favorite show? <laughs> we hate you. <laughs> um, but yeah, in SG1, the main bad guy are these parasite worm things called the Gualu that take over humans' bodies and they like give them funny, flashy eyes. And like the alien is like in the neck of these people and can like control them and everything. Does that not sound like the host to you? It does. Yes, yeah, it does. <laughs> so I'm like, I want to read it and compare if she's just like <laughs> taking that idea and run with it, or like if it's actually different and it just sounds similar, like synopsis wise. Yeah. So yeah. That would be very interesting. I'd like to see you do like a video after like reading the host, like comparing and talking yeah. about it. Because I like, I found out like, because someone, one of you guys were talking about it on your channel and I like heard about it and I was like, hang on a second. And so like, I got a copy and I like read it, like the blurb to Chris and he was like, huh, that sounds exactly <laughs> like this. And I was like, you don't say. It was quite funny. But yeah. I I remember when the host movie came out, I was going to go see it with my sister, but then I couldn't make it um, there and she saw it without me. She didn't like the movie, but she never read the book and I never read the book, so I don't know. But she yeah. she said the movie was silly. Fair, fair. Have you, so what's the worst book to movie adaptation you guys have ever watched? Mm -hmm. Oh, Also, Bailey said she's never read Twilight. And Jamie says she's only read the first two Twilights. I've never read it either. Yeah, I haven't read it either. I know Sky and Oshina and Amanda have watched have read all of Twilight, but I haven't. I can't think of anything because I feel like I'm weird, but like all of the movie adaptations that I've seen of books that I've read that were like vastly different, I still liked. So I feel like I've never seen one that I actually yeah. like hated. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. The only one I can think of right now is the new Netflix Persuasion. Okay. Awful. I just watched that. I liked it. I hated it. Really? <laughs> Celestia, you're the only person on the earth that likes that. I haven't I seen know. it, but I've heard everyone yeah, like, like every, on it. <laughs> every Jane Austen fan on, on YouTube was hating on it that I saw and I was and I did not really like hate it. it. I think it's because no. I think it's because I read the book and then I watched the two original movies that give like different endings. And then I watched this one and it was done more as a comedy and I didn't like how she talked to the camera. And it, it just felt weird to me. And they also changed her character a bit. Like she was supposed to be this quiet, subdued, like behind the scenes lady. And they made her like the outgoing, strong female character, which is more popular these days, but it, it changed who Jane actually was for me anyway. I don't know. I did not, I did not enjoy it. <laughs> it was, um, yes, they did change her like personality like that. Um, yeah. The whole talking to the camera thing was different and it was more of like, like you said, a comedy versus like the traditional like style and everything. But yeah. I think the reason I liked it so much was because I didn't really care for the book. I thought okay. the book was boring and yeah. I didn't like the other adaptation I saw of it. I thought it was also boring and the characters were boring. So I <laughs> yeah. really, really liked the new I, Persuasion. I thought it was funny. That's Fair so enough. funny because Persuasion, like, I think is probably my top Bailey. Jane Austen right now. Like, Pride and Prejudice will always hold the top one for me, but Persuasion is, like, really close second. I don't know. It was It's very different from her other books, yes, but I still really enjoyed it. The only Jane Austen I've read so far is 
Pride and Prejudice. I, the, the Pride and Prejudice. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Um, but I got. I oh my gosh, I can't speak. <laughs> I've gotten her full collection of like books because I do want to read them all. Because everyone says that they like North Anger Abbey or whatever that is it North Hang I haven't read that one yet. North North Abbey. Abbey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I really am interested to read that one. So I bought like the collection because it was cheaper than buying them all individually. And yeah. I just I really... haven't then gone back to it and actually read any of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like North Hang or Abbey, like I feel like that one might not be for everyone because I just feel like as much stuff doesn't happen in it as happens in like yeah. Pride and Prejudice and like Emma and Sense and Sensibility. Like there's a lot more going on and a lot more drama in those and mm-hmm. not so much in North or Abbey, but I love yeah. all of them. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I will I definitely say about the, about the Netflix adaptation, like if I wouldn't have known the actual original story, I probably would have enjoyed the movie a lot more. But yeah. because I had just finished the book, I loved it so much. And then I watched, I think it's the earliest or one of the earlier versions that one of my friends who is a big Jane Austen fan, she recommended that one. And that's her favorite. I can't remember the actors either, but I liked it so much. And then, yeah, <laughs> but I can, I can understand if someone, if other people liked it, but. Yeah. And yeah, and I understand why so many people hate it because it is very different. So I, I yeah. could totally see. I'm like, well, I understand why, but I just loved it. Mm-hmm. That was so funny. <laughs> I feel the same way about the Pride and Prejudice Zombies book versus movie. Have you guys like actually watched or read that? Never. No. It's, <laughs> it's perfect. The movie is perfect. Like it is, <laughs> it is phenomenal. I loved it so much. And so I bought the book recently because I didn't know it was actually a book. I thought, like, someone had just made the movie. I didn't realise someone had actually written it as a book first. And Mm -hmm. I saw it for, like, $3 or something at the shop, and I was like, what? Like, I need to read this. And it's not as, like, hard-hitting. And I think it's because, like, it's zombies. Like, you need to see that in action. There's a lot of sword fighting with zombies because basically what it's about is like they're all it's all happening in a zombie apocalypse but all like the bennett sisters i'm gonna assume that's their last name that's their name right bennett yeah. right yeah. okay i've forgotten because it's been so long and but like their dad instead of like them being like boy crazy or whatever he's been like making sure that they'll be able to survive the zombie apocalypse so he's been training them all in like sword fighting and like all of this like cool badass stuff and no. like whereas like all the other like prim and proper young ladies are all getting eaten because like they can't defend themselves because they're just relying on like the men to look after them and like it starts off with them like at one of their balls and like they like obviously the Bennett sisters meet the Mr. Darcy and whatever the other guy's name is and, Mr. Bingley. Mr. Bingley. yeah and Mr. Darcy obviously is all like hmm <laughs> I like the girls and he doesn't realize that they're like sword fighters and everything and like Jane Austen's having this like monologue in her head and she's like I'm gonna kill him I'm gonna like get him with my sword and like all of this stuff it's hilarious and um <laughs> yeah and then like the ball gets raided by all of these zombies and all the Bennett sisters just go in this like sword fighting formation and I'm just like hacking all these like zombies to pieces and like Mr. Darcy and um the other guy are like just like standing there like what the heck is going on like how do these women know how to fight it's so perfect it's amazing you have to funny right that that sounds really funny it's i've never been into zombies so i i never watch or typically read things that have to do with zombies but that actually sounds it's so good i I highly recommend it it's very good um but the worst book to movie adaptation I've experienced is Annihilation which is a sci-fi book and the book is great it's super cool it's about like there's this pocket of another world that has shown up on earth and there's like all of this weird like um they don't know if they're aliens or like spirits or like what they are but like these otherworldly creatures are like in this like 
section of the world that's being taken over by this other planet. And so they send a group of women in that are all like scientists with different specialities because the previous group that they sent have like disappeared. And so they're sending these women in to like investigate and find out more. And it's like super awesome. But the movie, like the, the, I like, Initial premise is the same, like there's this dim like other dimension thing that's shown up on Earth and there's all this weird stuff going on and like these women go in to like investigate and that's like where the similarities like end. Everything after that point is completely different. Like there's not a single bit that is at all the same and it was terrible and I'm very disappointed because it had, um, I was, it had high hopes because it had Natalie um, Portman in it and I was like, Oh, this is gonna be great because she's great and it was so bad and I was like this is not even the same like at all like not even close like it's not even like they took the concept and like just changed some things like this was like whole different movie that's so sad so disappointing but the book was really good yeah I remember I saw a video where you talking about that book I think I added it to my TBR it sounded really interesting so it's pretty good and it's really short too it was like 200 pages or something but it's it had good TV. good vibes and it was a little bit creepy because like there's this like um tower thing but instead of it going like up in the air it goes down into the ground and there's this like being that walks the stairs and like does all this weird writing and stuff on the walls and like super like creepy and like you don't know what it is and like these people are like should we go down and confront this thing or should we like <laughs> stay away from it like what the heck is it and it's like super creepy and it's it's quite good in the book but yeah in the movie it's a bit dumb you know I'm still trying to think of like a book to movie adaptation that I didn't like because I feel like there there has been one that I was like really mad about and I just can't remember. I can never remember anything on the spot. Yeah, same. <laughs> I'm like, I know there's one. I know there is. I mean, I don't know if this one really counts, but the new The Rings of Power from um the Amazon did. I know it's it's not like it's kind of based on the books, but like not really based on i feel like a specific book if that makes sense mm -hmm. um so i don't know if it really counts but that one was like not very good in my opinion and there were a lot of things that i wished that i don't know i feel like they i don't know they they did add some things that weren't there in any of the books that i was like i don't know i wish they had stuck more to the like the source material more so i think it would have been a better story they deviated a lot, but as far again, as I didn't, it was meant to be based of the Silmarillion, specifically the section about Numenor, but yeah, I haven't actually seen it. Numenor is in the Silmarillion, but like other than that, like none of the stuff that happened is re like really in there. I don't know if it's like in any other books, really. I think they made a lot of stuff up. Probably. So, yeah. They were probably like, this Silmarillion has lots of holes in it. Let's just fill it with <laughs> random stuff. <laughs> oh, but that's yeah. a difficult book to read. It was very difficult, but I, I made talking, it. I was talking to someone a little while ago on like a YouTube video because like someone else was doing a live stream and they were talking about it. And people in the comments were like, the Silmarillion is my favorite. And I was like, okay. In what world is this really <laughs> for real? Like what? I was like, that's literally like reading an an unfinished textbook. Like, how? But anyway, yeah, it was a struggle. People have different tastes. That's they a lucky do. day. They anyway, do. should we like go? Because like, <laughs> no, we've been here for a while, okay, and I'm it's probably like beans. midnight for you guys. <laughs> it's eleven ten. Yeah. It's still nine here for me. <laughs> oh, that's good. Wow. Either way, though, should we head off? <laughs> probably. Like, I'll still be awake anyway. I'll probably keep reading. But yeah, I know, I'll like, we have been on here for a long time. This is going to be a really long um, stream. <laughs> stream. We've been streaming for two hours. Yeah. Wow. 
I mean, I'm happy to call it here now. And then in a couple of weeks, we'll properly organize to do this officially. And like, we'll have a pajama yeah, yeah. party or something. And like, yeah, I'll find curlers <laughs> and put my hair up in curlers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love it. <laughs> yes. Cocoa, so curlers, we can maybe even make it like stuffed animals. Christmas Bring stuffed animals if you have one. Ooh. That would be I don't fun. know how, but we can talk about it and like yes. go from there. Cool. Yeah. Okay. And well, bye everybody. Day. Thank you bye. for joining. Thank you so much. Yeah. This was it's fun. Been Thanks really for doing it. Fun talking to all you guys and chit chatting. I can't wait to do it yeah. again. Um, Celestria's handle is just Celestria. Yes. You want to subscribe? So, yeah there we go i couldn't find i couldn't figure out how to add my link anywhere so mine is just carmen janae my first and middle name so okay cool. i will yeah. find you sounds good and katie's is paperbacks and ponytails yes. if you want to subscribe <laughs> and i'm gonna shove bailey's out there because she's been here most of the time so bailey's bookshelf you can go subscribe to her too because she's got a cool channel yeah and you mm -hmm. I just okay, good night, Bailey. Good night, Bailey. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.